not a Maui rematch because Creighton was the big or uh, Marquette was the Big East team that was on the island. Now we've got Creighton tagging in for them to take on Tennessee. The Vols actually, Matt, survived a terrible shooting performance in the second round. That that's something that's always been the uh, the bugaboo with the Rick Barnes team. Can they actually survive bad shooting when teams junk it up against them? We know they can play defense, but can they produce enough points? They did just barely against Texas. And now they face this uh, this drop defense in Creighton that is super similar to Purdue, super similar to, to Illinois. Uh, can the Vols hit enough mid-rangers, and, and can they limit the jump shooters of the Jays enough to cover here? Minus 2.5 per bet MGM, 143.5 total in the nightcap. Now, you hit all the matchup points. I, this is a simple handicap for me. I just got tells me I like betting – Greg McDermott against Rick Barnes. Like, um, it's a simple narrative, and it's going to be cited all over Twitter, Kai. I just feel like I'm getting bonus points with the better coach with the team who I liked better in the preseason. Now, again, I know a lot's changed since then, but, you know, we've seen some of the data come out about how there's never been a team, I believe, in the top, uh, not in the AP poll to make a Final Four run. Like, I think there is some evidence that preseason expectations is there's some predictive power and how high your ceiling is, how far in this tournament you can go. We've seen Ken Palm, I think, talk about that on Twitter. So I, I kind of like trusting my initial priors with Creighton here, Kai. Um, but yeah, tough. It, this one, a high variance game, right? A lot of threes. If you can predict who's going to make shots, as is the case with any bet in this stupid sport, then uh, you'll probably be okay. But this one, I think, especially has a high variance outcome. What was the preseason AP, AP poll thing? Uh, I don't have the exact, but Ken Palm talked about how um, it, the I think if you're not out in the top 25 of the preseason uh, poll or top 30 or receiving votes, you've never made it past the Elite Eight. Let me find the exact tweet. I think but, I'm but pretty Tennessee sure was, Tennessee was number clear. six. Tennessee definitely was. Poll. Yeah, Tennessee was ranked highly in the, in the preseason. I think Matt's just kind of using it to say right, that. Oh, yeah, sorry. Right. So point value. being, yes, very good point. I'm using my own preseason. Like basically, I thought Creighton was better in the preseason. I think preseason stuff matters. Nine, yeah. And I'm anchoring to that more. Okay. Yeah, they're eight point nine. Point they're eight nine preseason poll, Creighton slightly above. I mean, I I think Tennessee's been top ten all season. They even preseason stuff. So I I, I guess I disagree with you not thinking they're top twenty five or whatever it was. But I I think it's hard to bully Creighton. Uh, and that's what Tennessee's been doing to teams. Cockburn are a stout defender. I just really hate the Jays can't force turnovers. Uh, that gives them a thin margin for error. And maybe you say the same thing about Illinois, but the Jays are just like so extreme. It's like they're not creating advantages with their defense and and or at least causing turnovers. That's I think a, pr- a problem. Shooting's gonna be huge for them. Three point shooting, they can't get inside looks. They're a great two point percentage team. Creighton finishing inside mid range. Tennessee just doesn't allow that. Top ten in the country in two point percentage defense. The Vols also defend screens well. Creighton a lot of off ball screening motion right to get shooters open. I think Tennessee defends that action pretty well. I think Dalton connects a matchup issue. For really anybody, and I think he's a match issue for Creighton as well. I lean towards Tennessee here. Um, not strong, short spread, obviously, but I, I I like I like the Vols. Yeah, I like the Vols too. It doesn't feel awesome to say that about Rick Barnes and the tourney, but I don't think we get two terrible Dalton Connect shooting games in a row. And he was five for 18 from the field against Texas. Now he's gonna get like open mid-range jumpers all the time against this defense. I think he can knock those down. That's super high release. Even if you've got somebody chasing him, uh, I'm not too worried about that. Tennessee is 65th nationally in mid-range shooting percentage. Like they, they can handle that. And Creighton gives up the highest percentage of those shots in the entire country. So you'll see Tennessee firing away from there. Uh, I also you know, Matt, you, the Will Warren's newsletter and some of the Jordan Majeski site write-ups that talk so much about shot volume. Like I feel pretty confident Tennessee is going to take more shots in this game because Creighton doesn't force any turnovers. They do not go after the offensive glass. Every game for them is so reliant on making a higher rate of shots than their opponent. And Tennessee can actually shoot it this year. I know they're not quite at the level of Creighton in terms of knocking down jumpers, but they have shown much improvement. And again, uh, coming off a nightmare performance, I, I think you see a little bit of uptrend in their uh, ability to hit shots. So I, I think connect might be a decent over bet in terms of yeah, player pops. I agree. Plenty of opportunities uh, to to gun. Yep. And, and then I, I do lean Tennessee there just from a matchup perspective. Worried about the coaching thing, but uh, as I don't believe McDermott's ever been to the, uh, I guess he made the elite eight last year, lost right at the, the cusp of the final four. That was his yep. first time there. Barnes uh, has been to the final four. Yes, that he has. Many moons that ago. Has. 
all the but real way quick back the, uh over in Knoxville. The, the Ken Palm thing, I should be, this was a much more relevant stat in Iowa State's discussion because it's literally related to Iowa State, but there has never been a top two seed in the tournament that was unranked in the preseason to make the Final Four, 0-38. So my point is basically directly relevant to Iowa State. It's not really relevant to Creighton. My general point is I do think preseason priors have some predictive power, and so I am anointing my preseason ratings as gospel. So F the AP pool is my point, basically. But your your points were better, and I, I agree with you guys. Um, I'm looking to bet props in this game. And definitely live. This is a good live betting game, I think. I think we have some swings. Yeah, if there's game. a big sh- shot-making flurry from one team early, perhaps yeah. there, there's a reply uh, where one team makes more jumpers the other way. So keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on live betting possibilities. 